Hey guys, um, it's Saturday, and I decided this Saturday I will talk about um, someone that's been, I would say, a very important part of my life. Um, it sort of also has to do with my spiritual spirituality as well, which um, I have a weird mix there, but um, so I was born in 1991. Um, the same year that I was born, um, my mum met her guru, um, or discovered one of her gurus. Um, and when I was five months old, I first went to see her. Um, and ever since then, every, um, maybe once, twice a year, um, we would go and see her when she, when she either come, came to Australia, um, or, or, or when we went to America, um, it, it would usually coincide her being in the same place that we were, so we usually go see her. Um, who is she? Um, well, her name is Amachi, but she's also called Ama or Divine Mother. Um, uh, some of you um, Americans may have heard her being referred to as the Hugging Saint in the in the world media. Um, Amma is called the Hugging Saint because, um, along with all of her various humanitarian, um, humanitarian charities that she has, um, she also, um, she gives this thing called Darshan, which, um, basically means where everyone who's get, who's got a token, um, which you, which you get when you come in the door, um, completely free, you know. Um, which tells you, like, you know, like, what number and when to go up, um, basically people just start lining up and she starts hugging them. And she doesn't stop hugging until she's hugged everyone who wants a hug. Um, now, the one thing I really like about going to see Amma, um, see, for me, I, I, I know a, a lot of kids through, um, through Amma, like, I, I've grown up with some of these, with, um, with some of these kids, seeing them year after year after year, you know, um, although recently, uh, I, I can only see her once every two years, because she stopped coming every year to Australia, um, and had me out to go to America for a while, so, yeah, fortunately, um, the thing I really, really, really like about Amma as well is that, she is a enlightened, enlightened being, a realized being, but she doesn't hold one religion or one ideal over another. Like, um, she says that, she says that there are two ways to enlightenment through, through the spirit or through the mind. Like, um, and she doesn't care what religion you're from, what, de what, de what denomination, if, if you reach enlightenment through religion or you reach it through the use of the mind. For example, um, have you held, heard of Eckhart Tolhart, um, the, the power of now, that sort of thing, um, like, uh, trying to stop thinking from now to time, yeah. Her hugs are so amazing. Um, when I, I went to see her this year, because it was every two years, um, I have to go over, went up to um, a, a, another state um, to see her. Queensland, actually. Um, um, I was... I was in a bit of a bad place, and... Um, when I first saw her again, I started crying, um, and when I got Dosh on for the first time, and numerous times after that, every time that she hugged me, I, I just cried. It was, it's, it's just like this ultimate release, or I just let go of everything. And... For me to be around 
person who is, one could say, is just pure love. Love for everything and anything. No matter what you've done, she loves you. No matter what you look like, no matter if you're old, you're young, if you're, what, what your sexual orientation is, it does not matter to her. And to grow up in that sort of an environment, I really do believe that that is what made me who I am today. So I'm just extremely blessed to be able to grow up around her. So yeah.